Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. How is things on your side? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, now today we shall look at how to make a splash screen. Okay, We shall use a, a picture box, a form, a timer, uh, and a progress bar. Now guys, if I run the program, uh, we can see this is what I'm trying to talk about. Okay. Here is our splash screen, a nice beautiful splash screen running, okay? And then when it reaches the 100, it opens for us uh, the main form. Now guys, this is what we are going to look at, so please welcome, uh, we get started. So guys, as usual here at Programming Wizards, we do start from scratch. Now this is my form, uh, you can see I've already, uh, I've, I've just created it, so please go to File New, Project, Create your uh, new project. This is my form. Now the first thing that we are going to do, uh, please come to the properties, okay? Now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make this form a borderless form, okay? And to do that one, come to this uh, form border property. Now I'll change it to uh, none, okay? So here you can see the way it looks. Uh, it's, this is a borderless form, it doesn't have any borders. Okay, now the next thing that we shall need to do, I uh, shall need to set its color, okay? This white color is not so cool. So let's come to the back color. I'm going to give it a, a Twitter blue color, okay? Now that's my color, okay? Now after this one, the next thing that we're going to do, uh, we, I'm going to insert there a picture box. Now the picture box uh, shall contain the uh, logo for your company, okay? Now this one shall be my picture box. I'll just insert an image right here. So I'm having a couple of uh, icons. I'll now choose uh, choose the best one for me. Now for me, uh, this globe one, this one looks better. Okay. If you don't have any icon, please you can search the internet. Uh, you, there are a couple of free ones. No, uh, this is my icon. It shall represent my logo. And then this being a picture box, I'll want it centered. So I'll come here and center the image. Okay. I think that looks better. Now the next thing, uh, probably I'll need some label. I'll just have my label right there. Uh, on my label, I'll put my heading, Programming Wizards. Now that shall be my heading. Uh, I'll give it a font color. Let me see. Okay, you can make it, you can give it a better font color. For me, I'll just leave it that way. Now, the next thing, I'll also uh, come, add another uh, label right here. Okay, now this label, I shall just write to it some text. I'll say, uh, loading modules. Loading uh, modules. In fact, I'm sensing I don't like this black color. So I'll come to my four color and change uh, this one. I'll give it a button face. Let me give it that one. Same to this one. Yeah. The next thing again, uh, I'll come to this one. Uh, no, I'll just leave it that way. I want to go to a lot of complexity. I'll also drag another picture box. Right there. I'll come uh, drag another picture box right here. I'll choose another image. Okay, I had prepared some of my images. Now I'll come, uh, let me take which one, let me take this one and have it over there. Okay. Now that shall be uh, the Then uh, the last component that you shall have over there is a progress bar. So just come there, I uh, choose your progress bar, control, and drag it over there. Now that shall be my progress bar. I don't know where, okay, I think that is better. So guys, the next thing that we need to do uh, is a timer. So go over there, uh, search for a timer. Now this is my timer, just drag it on your form. Here is where it shall be placed, okay. No, I uh, double click it. It shall open for us the uh, that one, and then also double click the form load. Now in the form load, 
let me just uh, bring this one below the form load it's more reasonable this way so yeah uh, the first thing that we shall do in our form load is that uh we shall enable and set the interval enable our timer enable and set interval now uh, to do that one is simple so come and say timer one dot enable equal to true okay so when the form loads the first thing that we want to make sure we want to make sure that we enable our timer then the next thing uh timer one dot interval okay now for the interval i'll give it 50 now uh after that one we shall come to our timer take event okay now this is the event that shall be raised uh let me say at each tick of the timer so the first thing here uh is that we shall need uh, to increment our progress our progress value now to do that one at uh, the first thing uh, let's come on top here let's declare an integer say int progress and we shall initialize it to zero okay so we shall start at zero now uh, the next first thi what we shall do here the first thing is that we shall increment our our progress okay progress plus is equal to one then if it reaches a hundred we shall stop now come and say if progress is greater than a hundred is it greater than or equal to a hundred the first thing we shall uh, disable our timer timer one dot enabled equal to false then the next thing uh, is that we shall stop our timer so timer one dot stop okay now the stop method uh shall stop the timer okay and then uh because we want to show another form we shall first of all hide this form this dot hide because remember uh, this is a uh, this is a splash screen okay we're not planning to show it uh, forever we just want it uh, to display some information when the application is starting and then uh, bring us the main form now very first guys uh, let's just uh, create a dummy form here which shall act as the main form okay now uh, we've just added a form right here okay now this is our dummy form okay the form that shall be created uh, this is the form uh, i'll assume that it is the main form okay now uh, when the timer has stopped we shall uh, call main form now to do that one come and say uh, form 2 my form is known as form 2 f equal to new form 2 so f dot show that shall be uh, enough to show our form but remember uh, this was an if else statement okay if it reaches a hundred then stop otherwise what about if it is not a hundred if it is not a hundred uh, what we want to do we just want to increment our progress uh, bar remember we drag the progress bar it's called progress bar one so progress bar one we shall set its value to progress okay remember the progress is the integer progress okay then uh, that's it guys we shall now run our application now uh, i'll just run it and minimize this one right here okay so here is our you can see uh, our progress by loading then when it finishes it hides itself and then uh, calls for us the main form now guys hope you've learned something small please if you have uh, subscribed to this channel you'll continue receiving uh, tutorials like this ones 
like this video comment it share it with friends and take care see you next time